All right, so uh, today we're going to learn how to do long division using friendly numbers and multiplying. We've already determined that some of our friendly numbers that we can easily multiply by is 2, 5, 10, and 20. So unlike uh, the long division that we did growing up, uh, we can set this up very similarly, but it's a little bit different because instead of solving uh, all of it at once, we're going to try to break it up into friendly chunks. So four, 30, 373 divided by 14. The students know to set it up very similar to what we used to do, but we're going to add this little, what we call the hangman stick to the end, and you'll see why it's that there. The first step is to pick a, a friendly number. This is important because students are now trying to reason and calculate like magnitude, and how many times is 14 actually going to fit into 373? Well, they might say, I know it fits 10 times. They might say, I know it fits 20 times. Uh, what I've noticed so far with our class this year is that they really feel comfortable and confident with the 10. So I'm going to show you using 10. So our friendly number, we know it fits at least 10 times. So we're going to try with 10. And the first thing you're going to do is just multiply. 10 times 14. 10 times 14, the students know to add that 0 to get 140. And from there, we're going to subtract. At this point, the students should realize, oh, we still got a long way to go. There's th still 233 left. Let's try another 10. So once you put that 10 there, once again, we're going to multiply by 140 and subtract again. And this just becomes a process until you get down to a number that is smaller than 14. This is where it can get a little bit tricky. 14 into 93. Well, we know it goes at least twice because 14 times 2, or double 14, is 28. And maybe we can double that again. So here, at this point, I would encourage students to show the work on the side if they can't do it mentally. And they will see that 4 times 14 is 56. We're still going through the steps. Now we're down to 37. Okay, I know that it has to go in at least twice, so I'm now going to mark a 2. 14 times 2 is 28, and we're left with 9. At this point, the students should realize that 14 cannot go into 9 because 9 is uh, less than 14. So that's where their remainder is. So they've got a remainder of 9. The last step, the crucial step, is to take these numbers on the right-hand column and simply add them up. The nice thing about this is that they're all friendly numbers and this is still all mental math. There's no calculator involved. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 4 is 24, plus 2 is 26, and we have our answer. 26 remainder 9. And they can always check that with the calculator. What I've told them to do is now check it with the calculator. What's 26 times 14 plus 9? And that will equal 373, which is our original number up here. Thanks very much for watching.